Hello. We're at Riverview uh, Parkway. It's a project for William and Lyons in uh, Santee. We're here to construct a 400 foot long, six foot high retaining wall. Uh, we were chosen for the speed that we are able to accomplish because it is a tilt up wall system. So, uh, we mobilized this morning at 7 a.m. We brought a crew in here of about five guys. We are uh, beginning the excavation for the footing and simultaneously forming up and laying the sand bed for the wall system. That's what you see here. The system is inherently 30 to 40 percent faster because we construct the walls concurrently with the footing. Once the footing is poured and completed, we can immediately start setting walls the following day and we anticipate we're going to inset this entire 400 feet in a little over a day. Typically a masonry wall would probably take somewhere between three to four weeks to complete this wall. We're going to build the footing and the wall system concurrently so that once the footing is completed, we will complete the wall in approximately three days afterwards. So Fast Tilt is a tilt-up style retaining wall system. Unlike cats in place or masonry, we tilt our walls up. That allows us to do uh, unique finishes that we can utilize our flat work techniques in giving you a very unique wall. Uh, the wall is extremely fast because it is a tilt-up system and it's very affordable, especially when the walls get taller. So we're here today on day four of uh, a 400 foot long, six foot tall wall. Three days of work is what you see here. The footing's been completed. Rebar's going in the footings as we speak. We're getting ready for the rebar to go into our walls. It looks like one long six foot wide sidewalk, which is what it's supposed to look like. It's poured on a sand bed. Right now the guys are prepping it and putting in the breakout bar prior to rebar going in. We'll pour the walls and as soon as the walls are cured, we'll be setting the walls on top of the footing. This entire wall will be completed in two weeks. It's extraordinarily fast for a, a 400 foot long, six foot tall wall. That's the key to this system is it gives you a, very, a lot of flexibility with the speed that you need to get it in with. Not only that, we've been selected because of the finish that we can provide. Top cast, exposed aggregate, colored concrete finish. We'll have rebar completed by the end of the day. We had inspection coming tomorrow and a poor day is on Wednesday. So we're back out at Riverview on day six. We'll be pouring the wall today. As you can see here, we have 400 foot of six foot wide sidewalk set up that will become a wall. We're out here at Riverview again today. This is day seven. We have poured the walls yesterday and we are gonna go, uh, we're washing them today, giving it the decorative finish. Not only is it fast, but because we do it flat, we can use techniques that we've learned in our decorative concrete division to create a wall that nobody's seen before. Uh, we're also gonna be pouring the footing today. Uh, again, one of the neat things about this system is we don't put steps in, in the footings. You know, if the grade changes, rather than put steps in and pour level footings, we just slope the tops of the footings because we can profile the bottom of the wall to match the slope of the footing. Another cool thing about how we build these walls is, is we don't form all the joints. We can clear cut them. The walls are only five inches thick. So we find it very cost effective uh, to just saw cut, clear through the panel, it gives you a basically an eighth inch joint when you put them back together. And if you have a, a specific sort of decorative finish you want, you can't go wrong because it's all poured as one long sidewalk. 
and then you cut it. So welcome to Riverview again. Today we're on day nine, it's lift day. A lot of fun happening today. So the crane came on site around a little after seven o'clock, set up and we started lifting our first panel at eight o'clock. We anticipate to be completed by around two o'clock today. That'll be 400 foot of six foot high wall completed and erected in less than an eight hour day. So here we are at Riverview on our final day of uh, this 400 foot long, six foot high retaining wall. We are doing the final touch on this retaining wall. So we have built the footing, we have constructed the wall flat that looked like a sidewalk. We have erected uh, the 400 foot in five hours. And now we're doing the final piece which is the horizontal buttress that ties everything together. This horizontal buttress is what is the just of our patent. This ties the footing to the wall using an all concrete connection, creates a moment connection that allows us to build these walls at, that are able to retain soil, water, uh, anything that has a lateral load. Um, we can go pretty well as high as you need to go. The primary advantages to using this system is the speed. We built this thing in 10 days. You know, if this was done in masonry or cast in place, you're looking at at least one third more time, at least. The other advantage, of course, is the finishes we can put on it. You know, we have a decorative concrete division that specializes in all kinds of techniques that we can utilize to decorate walls. You can do what we did here, which is a basically a basic exposed aggregate finish. You can do a seated finish. You can do a mosaic finish. You can even polish a wall. They're safer. We don't work off scaffold. Uh, that's a big advantage in today's world. It's also environmentally friendly in the sense that versus cast in place where you basically are killing a tree to form both sides up, the only amount of lumber we use is for the edge forms, which generally is something to the tune of a two by six. In this case, it was a two by six. Um, it's also safer because there's a lot less labor that goes into building these walls. Uh, what we're doing is trading labor with crane time. So regarding cost on the system, up to six foot is going to be similar in masonry. Um, above six foot is where we start to shine. One, because we don't use scaffold, so we eliminate that cost. Two, because the cost for us to build a six foot tall wall or a 12 foot tall wall is the, the, the labor is the same in building the wall portion of it uh, because we do them flat. So if you think about doing a six foot wide sidewalk versus a 12 foot wide sidewalk, I can do that with the same amount of labor. Uh, so therefore we spread that cost over more square footage. The cost of the crane might increase a little bit, but is easily offset by the savings in, in total labor. Um, at 10 foot or above, they really begin to get cost effective. So if you have a project that you think might be a fit for this, please contact us. Uh, we'll be happy to give you an estimate or give you an idea whether or not this will work uh, for your site. The main, re main things we need, you might keep in mind, is we need a place to be able to cast them, and we need enough wall that's gonna offset the cost of bringing a crane on site, 
or a, or a large forklift. Thank you.